Namaskaram Sadhguru. Um, you always talk about how one should be... I wanted to know what does it take in a person and uh, what can one person do to instill a quality of absolute intensity but at the same time be absolutely relaxed? This question comes from a certain fundamental misunderstanding which is all over the place is... Right now most people are made like this. If I ask you to be intense, you become tense. <laughs> if I ask you to relax, you become lax. In tension and in laxity, your ability to perceive is greatly reduced, isn't it so? Yes or no? When you're tense, you don't even see things which are right in front of you. When you're lax, also you do not see. But to be intense and relaxed is the way. Right now Subhish Subhiksha asked this question, why the snake? If you spend little time with a cobra, you will see it is always intense and relaxed, always. Very intense and relaxed. Only when its life is threatened, it may become little tense. You can allow that much for a reptile, okay? But otherwise, it's very intense and relaxed at the same time. This is the quality of a yogi, intense and relaxed. You got to work at it. When I say you got to work at it, everything that's being taught to you, whatever the practice, however simple it looks, if you give yourself, that's what it is doing to you on one level. The voltage of your energy is slowly being raised. At the same time, it is becoming more and more relaxed within you. Because intensity and relaxation are the most essential qualities for you to be perceptive. Why am I going on talking about perception is, only what you perceive you know, rest is all nonsense. You can believe this and that, but essentially, only what you perceive, you know. Yes? Well, at least you should know when you're getting into trouble. Yes? Most people do not know. Most people do not know when they're getting into trouble. They think only life situations are trouble. Life situations are situations. Some we know how to handle, some we do not know how to handle, some we handle well, some we handle in a ham-handed way, something we do. But if you do not know how to handle this and this, you are in real trouble. But most people don't get it. It happened. A missionary went to a, s a very remote part of Africa three centuries ago. So he was surrounded by a very violent-looking cannibal tribe. Then he went down on his knees, looked up and said, Dear God, I am in trouble. Nothing happened. Then he said, God, I came on your work and I am in real trouble, you are doing nothing. Then God said, no, you're not in trouble. Do one thing, you just pick up that stone which is in front of you and smash the head of the cannibal chief. He picked up the stone, inspired by God's words, and smashed the head of the cannibal chief. Then God said, okay, now you're in trouble <laughs> Something happened, something did not happen in your life, that's not trouble. When you don't know what's happening within you, you are in real trouble <laughs> Lifetimes of trouble, believe me.